This is the third video in the series of uh, tip from Ali from tuning. Not as important as this tile, it is this one, but it still nevertheless can provide a lot of value when tuning your system. So I went there and I made a search on my events and by the way, this is what you get in case that you you miss the actual investigation this is what you get when a particular rule I'm going to the second page of the wizard editor has this check mark selected okay and you recognize those events because they all say that is they were launched by the CRE, CRE rule so if I go here into offenses we actually look at these events in here and here this type of custom rule engine that is one of those events because this particular the rules that yeah, the rules that contributed to this particular offense dispatches an event when it fires as you see here right okay let's go back to the use case manager app and see what else can we let's click onto the tuning go here and see what else we can get in a system particularly if you have UBA it is not surprising that you will get UBA rules in here and that's fine that's not necessarily something you need to tune why most of the UBA rules is actually take about this one and there is a separate section on UBA tuning on tips from Bruno that you may want to follow here but when we see this type of UBA rule almost all of them it might be one or two exception they are like this dispatch a new event and they have this sense value equal 15 that's the the hack that they created in order to assign 15 point of risk to whoever was the individual in here so again that is not that doesn't represent uh, a, a problem per se so I will leave the UBA rules aside in a similar way that we did with the first style in here you go to again skipping the UBA ones let's go into this one which is the one that has uh, a good number of uh, those events dispatch and click here investigate skip that and here we see the test definitions this is something you probably won't mess again this is something that the developers put in there on that rule but what I will focus in here is are these sources is any one of these log sources noisy is this is one of these boxes that is sending me logs and is on and is not well tuned that can be a source of false positive i know in my case that is not the case because i replay a lot of attacks that were recorded on system that has uh, semantic and mcafee there but that is something that uh, you may want to investigate let's take one of these ones in here and the reason i want to take a look at this is that this is your the, let's look at the condition and say first of all the context is local to remote or remote to remote uh, we'll be more concerned on the local to remote I'm not sure I will be concerned on the remote to remote but uh, more on the network hierarchy when we get to that tile next uh, from this video and the destination IP the X force is saying that is a dynamic IP and has a confidence level of greater than 85 well if I'm good with that then this rule is going to fire if I get a lot of these might be that I may want to increase that threshold somehow and actually this part of the graph is very good in here when you have multiple dependencies of different type of rules working with one another in this particular case is only that one again not as important as the first tile the second tile can help you find some things that are out of place the next video we're going to look at the network hierarchy